Mr. Dixon. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and, and first of all, to start off with thanking my, my colleague, uh, Mr. Beggs from East Antrim, for, for bringing this debate to us this evening. It is an important debate, and it's one which many of us in the Chamber uh, have had before, um, whether it was um, way back when Whitehead Police Station was being closed, whether it was uh, the changes in arrangements in Carrick Fergus and the ultimate uh, decision to move um, the uh, policing. Uh, to uh, Newton Abbey uh, and to leave neighbourhood policing in Carrick Fergus. And again, we see a repetition of this now emerging in Larne. But I think the Larne situation is perhaps more serious. Although I have critical concerns about the changes between Carrick Fergus and Newton Abbey, they do, on the ground, at least appear to be reasonably well managed. And there isn't a great deal of public concern about that, although I still uh, have my uh, concerns and fears about it. But I think because of the much wider geographical stretch between Lahr and Ballymena uh, and the, the, those uh, boundaries uh, for um, each district, that it, it will and can have a, a much more significant impact. Um, it's not for us in this assembly, this is the second time that they have said this, for us to be micromanaging any organisation. Um, but I think it's right and proper that we do express our concerns about the way in which uh, operational decisions are taken. And it's right that we uh, relate those to um, the relevant authorities. In this case, it's to the policing board and ultimately to the chief constable uh, and his management team on the ground. Uh, it's for them uh, to take on board the uh, observations that we make. Um, and ultimately, it's for the public through uh, policing and community safety partnerships uh, to make their views known as well. Um, and I think Mr. Beggs was right when he said that this is emerging. Um, there has been no great detailed information delivered by PSNI with regards to these changes. Indeed, a number of changes have been taking place, and many of them, uh, I don't know whether other members will concur or not, but for many of the changes that take place, whether it's in, uh, at chief inspector level, whether it's the change in, 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 in Ballymena and Larne, uh, many of those changes we find out about rather than being given direct and upfront information about. Certainly when it comes to uh, tasking arrangements between Ballymena and Larne, there should be no gap in that. Um, and it's also important that these changes that the police are making, and I have no doubts that if they were here or we were in a meeting with them, that some of the changes that they're making, we would understand why they were doing that. But it is important that they don't do anything that increases the fear of crime um, because it leads to misinformation in the community. But we too have that responsibility as political leaders not to undermine confidence in policing by creating unnecessary fear. But the best way in which that can be dealt with is by the police talking to us and us talking to the police. In fact, Mr McMullen, a speaker, made a very uh, important point, and it is simply this, that if this debate tonight is to actually mean anything at all, then the members representing this assembly in the constituency of East Antrim should get together and meet with the appropriate policing authorities to thrash these issues out for us to get answers. I'm quite sure they will be able to convince us of some of their actions and equally well we would be in a position to express our concerns to them. So I'm not throwing out a challenge but I'm suggesting that the members uh, representing the constituency of East Antrim do get together and that we do have that meeting uh, with the appropriate uh, senior police team uh, that is responsible for each district. But that then brings me on to the whole relationship between D district and H district and how uh, when, and I think um, Sir Hugh Ord, when he was Chief Constable, made many good decisions, but I think he rather jumped the gun when he decided that he was going to reorganise the police to match what was then the perceived uh, layout of local government in Northern Ireland. Um, rightly or wrongly, he did that, and that's why we ended up with seven districts plus Belfast. And, uh, but we now need to hear the Chief Constable's thinking and the Policing Board's thinking in relation to how they intend to relate to the new local government boundaries, because all the members here, Mr Speaker, have made it very clear that if you're policing from the city boundary between Newton Abbey and the, 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 the glens of Antrim and inland as far as Ballymena, then that, to any reasonable person, has to be a very different policing model and 
placement of staff and resources than that which we currently have with two boundaries uh, between D and H district. Uh, and therefore, I would uh, urgently call on the policing board and the uh, senior management team within PSNI uh, to come to us and explain how they intend to deliver a modern, efficient policing service between uh, the boundaries of the old D and H districts, but between the boundaries of Carrickfergus and Larne and Ballymena, so that we can deliver and so that they can deliver uh, a policing service that uh, reduces uh, fear of crime, delivers a modern and efficient service, has its vehicles in the right place, uses the appropriate technologies, because I really can't see the necessity for all police officers to go to Ballymena to be briefed or tasked in the jobs that they do, much of which could be done using the existing stations or indeed uh, the appropriate uh, computer and other networks which they have. I think we also need to bear in mind with regards to the town of Larne that it is a port and although there's a very small port police service inside the boundary, inside the fence of the port of Larne, uh, nevertheless, it is where this community and the town of Larne collect, connects with the much wider world through, the port, through, through other ports uh, in Scotland. And therefore, to that end, I think that it is also important that uh, the placing in the town reflects the potential risks uh, that there are being a port town. I'll just leave uh, the debate, Mr. Speaker, with, with one thought, uh, and that is my concern about uh, the length of time which it does take, and everybody has made reference to the length of time that it does and could take a, a police car uh, to travel from one part of the district to another um, if these changes are to be carried through in their full. By comparison to uh, one of my local local colleagues and councillors in Larne who told me last week, if you want to compare the 20 odd minutes that it may take for a police car, it takes six minutes for the inshore light boat to be tasked in Larne to save lives. Thank you.